Hi, and welcome to React Studio. We released an update to React Studio which adds validator element to your element list, list in React Studio. So this is a quick tutorial how to use the validator element. So here I have a screen which contains a typical form, name, email, message, and then some kind of checkbox, I agree, and picker, and a save button. And the email, email uh, field is set to email address, so it will, it will require like an email type of input and other, other fields such as regular text. So how you can use the validator element? Just drag the validator element on the screen from the elements, elements list here on the right side. And then the validator element is basically it's, typical, it's just a text text element where you can type whatever you want. So, so just write, write the validator message what you want to see and you can change the color from whatever you want. I will just use the red one. And the, the most important thing is here in the validator settings. You can just check which input fields or data slots you want to validate. So in this case I've set validate the checkbox and uh, validate the email field, field name, picker, this picker here, and the text area. And the shortcut here is to, if you want to just validate the required, that which fields or data slots are required, that there has to be value. I've just said that every every one of these, uh, are every every field which will be validated are required, so there has to be a value. And then there's a script button here. And this script is really powerful when you want to create some kind of business logic for validating. So in this case, it, it works so that if the, if the name, name variable uh, contains field name, which is the, the first field here, then if the value is different than John Doe, then we, well, then we proceed and return Return, return true, which means that the validation uh, has passed. But if the value is John Doe, then we will return false, which means that the validation fails and it will stop the whole interaction chain. And uh, lastly, because this is visible now, the validator, when I've set everything, I can just click the, the eye icon here to make it invisible. And then uh, click the save in save button here and when I'm making the interaction I want to save this data to datasheet so uh, but before that I want to validate the whole whole form here so I just select in element and uh, perform action and then element validator and validate and that will take care of validating and then I have the save data interaction, which actually saves the data in case the validation went OK. If the validation fails, it will just show the, uh, the validator, uh, validator element here and the interaction will be cancelled. And this is how it works when I run it in the browser. So here's the form. I can type out the
I agree and click save and here it is. If I'm missing the name and click save And here's the form, I can type anti hi there, agree, and save data. And what, it, what happens if I want to run the script, uh, test the script that we wrote here, which was the, if the field name is John. Uh, John Doe, then we will return true. I can test it out by adding John Doe. And it should, yeah. So it doesn't work, the, the validation fails. And if I put, take this away, it will not work as well. But again, it's just John, it works. So this is how you can you can create validation for the for the form fields. Hope you enjoyed this one and uh, thank you for watching.